Good afternoon everyone. I'm sorry for the shadows. It's a really dull day here today so I've had to put the light on so... Um, gosh, right, okay. Uh, what am I up to? Um, I'm currently making um, some beads um, but I'll get back to those. I'll just update you on some stuff that I've been playing around with. Um, the beads were inspired because I'd I finished this journal and I wanted to write a really nice dangly thing for it and the beads that I've got just wouldn't fit. And I know, you know, these, these are nothing new. Um, you know, most people do them with wire wrapping, but um, I've decided to stitch mine. So I'll um, I'll take you through that. Um, so that's that one's done now. So that's all good. Um, I finished off this one, which is the um, gel print one. I showed you it was all when it was all separate, basically. So um, that one's done. Just did a very simple elastic binding on that one. Actually found some beads that fit. So uh, sorry about the shadow. Sorry. Um, so that's that one. Um, the one. Oh God. I, honestly, it's driving me nuts. The one that I. Um, hang on. You know, I printed one with that image on, and I said I'm not happy with it. I'll reprint the image on something else. Well, I've reprinted the image. Lovely. Can I find the the um the original bit of paper can i find the i've only got one of the giant tags i just don't know where they've gone so sadly i'm going to have to watch my own video and see if i put them somewhere i i don't know i don't know where they are it's driving me bonkers but anyway i redid her and um yeah she's come out much better on that fabric so that's all good so when when it ever turns up i shall show you um what it's like finished um i know i did mention a while ago that um all my wide ribbons i've never really found a use for them so i've kind of done this i need to stitch it um and it was all looking a little bit too i don't know well, I don't know what the word is it just didn't look finished so um I got out all the laces that you know I've got tons of and um I've just got to stitch it all now which hopefully won't take too long um it's on a piece of batting so I'm hoping it's going to come out sort of you know looking sort of semi quiltish so uh it'll either be two big bags or I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do with it but that big stack of ribbons that my dear friend Dawn gave me is here now so um yeah they're going to be used so that's all good and the other thing I need to just quickly show you I've lost the pattern now um oh see this room oh anyway it was um Teresa Morgan's um pencil case i mean i think you could use it for anything pencils makeup brushes whatever um just thought i should i've done, done one um it i had to work it out basically because um when Teresa done hers she used a fabric that doesn't fray i think i told you it's called stone paper never heard of it never seen it um and of course you don't need to worry about it fraying um and it's kind of like my multi-purpose cloth. So I thought I'd just do one in normal fabrics, if you like, first of all. And then um, I've got some um, multi-purpose cloth, which doesn't fray. I did have a bit around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Two seconds. Yeah, I um, I have this stuff in my shop. Uh, it, it, it's called multi-purpose cloth. It doesn't fray, as you can see. I'm pulling at the edges here. It doesn't fray at all. So what I'll do is um, I will print some of this and make some of these like Teresa did on her um, video. So uh, And that way I can just zigzag the edges. I haven't got to worry about it fraying. Um, but anyway, so to do it this way, I mean, it's not brilliant, but um, yeah, it's okay. It it does the job. Oh, it will do the job. So yeah. So that's that. Anyway, updates all done. Um, right. Let's put that there. So I just got a mission to find those um that fabric and uh, oh the other thing. And a lady contacted me, and um she bought a covered notebook from me, 
she reckons it was three years ago and i can well believe it um we used to have a craft fair at exeter quay and um you know regular every month and she obviously came along one month and bought this covered notebook from me so anyway out of the blue i got an email and um she said could you make could you make a um a covered notebook like the one i bought off you well sorry but my my memory is bad at the best of times i said to her you're gonna have to give us a clue you know and send me a photo of your one so that i can see if i can d um, duplicate it i said oh no i don't want to duplicate she said um my granddaughter who's six i don't I, i'm waiting for a text back to see whether she's gonna like it she said she's horse mad i'll cover up the name not that it matters um can you make her one with horses on and i thought well I didn't have any horse fabric. The only horse fabric I had was this really bright rainbowy, you know, obviously it's a horse, but it's the, um, it's the Swedish horse, isn't it? They call them Dalers or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's a Swedish type horse and, um, it's the only horse type fabric I had. So I've done that, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. As I say, I've sent her a photo with a text saying, is it too bright? Because I have got three more of these left um so i can i can always do it again basically so i'm not sure yeah looking at it i'm like mm. but a six-year-old might love it i don't know i'll show my granddaughter when i see her because she's five going on 60 you know so right okay that's all the updates done right so like i said i'm making these beads um here's two that i've two other ones that i've done get them up a bit closer for you and what i like is um sequins get off um yeah i've done the stitching on these ones like i said so i quite like them um because all the beads i've got are small hole beads and i and when i want to finish off because when i make some bags and stuff i do like to put um a tassel on or something like that and i thought well these would be ideal for that plus it uses up all these wide ribbons that i've got um i've still got more in my box down there but these are all the ones that um, my friend gave me i'm just going to do a really quick demo i don't know whether anybody else has done it and i don't know i don't oh crikey i don't know sorry things are falling down around me so let me make sure I'm in frame. Yes, I am. Okay, right. Um, this is a wired piece. I've left the wire in. Uh, let me grab something that you can actually... I'll use my wall mat and you should be able to see a bit better then. Hold tight. Let me just slide that into view. Organised as ever. Not. Right, there we are. That's a bit lighter. Um, yeah, so I've left the wire in this one. Um, I have... The this one I did with a red velvet, so I, you know to be honest, you can do it with anything, fabric, whatever. And all you need is a knitting. I've used a knitting needle. I got these from the charity shop. Um, I don't even remember how much I paid for them. Not a lot. So, um, like I say, the whole reason is is that I want things with a big hole. Okay, I want that big hole so that I can thread whatever i want through it ribbons sari ribbons um yeah anything really and then uh, you know if that's too big i have got bead caps that i can just you know do over the end if that if they're too big that'll hide that but i know you can do them in paper and i have done them in paper and and they're nice but um like i said i want them to be useful for my bags or journals or whatever i want to use them for so this is my method this is no rocket science so basically um, all I'm doing is just as tight as I can just rolling this ribbon onto the needle I've done them quite uh, not chunky but you know don't 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 skimp on this side of it um, I, I just want to use this up so I'm just going to roll the whole thing um, and then you can, um, this one here, stop saying um, I've gone and got some knitting wool, which is here. It was just a scrap that I found in a charity shop. So I've wrapped that around the middle. Uh, this one I've wrapped lace and I've got this 
funky one that you knit in but that's you know it's, it's a knit in a knit in type of thread which has got tiny i better not let go of that uh, it's got tiny sequins on it uh yep yeah, so anyway let's roll this up now you can pin this uh big pin like so just to hold it while you get the rest of your things together but i've got this crocodile clip thing okay you could use um a bulldog clip I, it doesn't really matter it's just just to hold it whilst you gather your other bits and bobs that you want to put on it so that's that and um i was thinking um i've got some more of these weird and wonderful thready things i'm not sure i want that because these fluffy bits will stick out the side oops stay this one is a little bit more civilized yeah it's got that same blue um let me just find the end oh welcome to my new subscribers by the way you are very welcome to the madhouse um i don't know how you're finding me but you are very very welcome i thought i nearly forgot to say that so uh sorry it's blinking shadow all i'm doing is wrapping this round i can take that off now that'll probably hold now so i'm just going to wrap this round i quite like this effect where it's got a fat middle okay i mean you can just do a basic tube like those uh the blue one the blue one was even more basic um where it was just literally a tube but you see i wanted to be able to not the sari silk and just have it hanging so that this is my whole inspiration right so i'm just going to wrap that a few times around the middle it, dual purpose it holds the ribbon on like i say you can do it with fabric just shred fabric uh, it's not dissimilar to the um wire wrapped ones right that'll do for that uh, and you can just keep going i mean you add on whatever you want really um i mean if you've got something underneath it isn't particularly pretty just cover the whole thing what else can i chuck on there um didn't pre-plan this very well susan all right let me just clip that all right you stay there all right let's see what else i can grab out of my uh my box here Okay, I've got this stuff, which is a very fine thread, but very pretty. You can see that, can you? Yeah, it's all sort of shiny. Very nice. So we'll have a bit of that around here. You can crisscross it. You can, you know, do what you like with it. Let's say my whole intention is to put some stitch on, which... I think it looks quite nice. You could do blanket stitch on the end. That's just sort of straight stitch all around the edges, really. Um, I'm trying to make them uh, some that are uh, sort of a, a cone shape like that, really, you know, um, where they're thin at one end and fat at the other. So I think what I need to do is, is probably work this far down the needle where the um, slanted end is. I might try it on that one actually because that's got a longer um, point there. So anyway, let's finish this one. So you get the idea. You just wind and do, you know, put on whatever you want really. I'm just going to wind a bit up here just to hold that. Ooh, this is where it all ends up on the floor. Right. Okay. Let me just put my clip back on. And then um, I've just been using my, you can probably just see down there, my embroidery threads, um, flosses. Um, yeah, you can, again, you could just use um, ordinary sewing thread if you wanted to. It hasn't got to be anything spectacular. I'll just pop those back in there. So I hope everyone's well. Uh, still working from home at the moment, but we're under threat of having to go back in which uh, my colleague and I are not best pleased about because um, we've decided we really like working from home. <laughs> so oh, I just don't fancy the commute. 
because I leave home at seven to get in because it's just a notoriously bad place to park where I work. So uh, I want the lighter end on first. So I'm gonna. This is a variegated. Um, it's a perle, is it? It's like a perle cotton, but I, uh, it's made by Finker. It's a number eight, anyway. So it's quite thin, basically. So I'm just gonna thread that up. Supposed to have thunderstorms today. We haven't had the thunder yet, but boy, has it been raining. But I'm not moaning because we need it. It's been very dry down here in Devon. And luckily, like a good girl, I cut my grass yesterday, so that's fine. Oh, come on. Thank you. Right, so you just pop, I just pop a knot in the end. You haven't got to. You can just bury your thread in, in the... Um, I'm just going to stand up and do this actually so you can actually see. Um, so I'm just going to leave the clip on for a minute. I'm just going to... Um, so all I've been doing is burying the knot a bit further down the tube. Let me just chop that tail off a bit more. Like I say, you can do this by wire wrapping, but I particularly like the idea of it all being a fabric base so that I can, um, yeah, I, I can use it on anything then. So uh, I'm going to do blanket stitch on this one because I haven't done blanket stitch. So it's just a case of, uh, are you in frame? Just, so I'm sorry about the shadows. There's not a lot I can do about it. So we're just going to blanket stitch around here. It doesn't take long. It's just awkward doing it standing up. <laughs> I should be fast forwarding and having some very jaunty music playing, isn't it? Yeah. I think the I think a lot of um people that do filming on their phones have got iPhones. I have not. Mine's an Android. And I I I cannot find a um uh editing a video editing program thing, whatever. Um I was hoping the phone had one actually. Um, maybe I need to do a little bit more research, but um, I don't want to be paying out for a video editing program because um, I just don't want to really. That's as simple as that. So you have to put up with longer videos just for a little while. I'm hope I'm gonna say I'm gonna do um, some proper research and see if because uh, I've got a. Uh, who are we? I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, that phone. Um, and they, they, I mean, they're usually, you know, they are one of the leaders of um, phone technology. So um, I need to do a little bit more research. Right. So the rest of it is up to you, really. Um, on this one, I did giant cross stitches. It's focusing. Yeah, there we are. We'll stay. Yeah, so I did some giant cross stitches on that one. Stop that. Um, yep, so that was that one. This one, I'll hold it there and it might... Are you going to focus? Yeah. Uh, kind of. <laughs> oh, it does your head in, doesn't it? I just did, like, big giant stitches down that one and then um, uh, big stitches here as well. I had a lovely silk thread, which I just did that one with. So uh, what should we do? Let's just do let's just do some giant cross stitches down here. So all I've been doing is using the the knitting needle as like you know I know I'm hitting base when I can feel that basically. So I've just been kind of running it up the side of the knitting needle, pulling the thread through. You might need to use a pair of pliers. I've not found a difficulty, but then I am using this ribbon. Um, it was a little bit harder on the um velvet so um you might want to let me make sure you're seeing this here so as i say i'm just going to do some big lazy cross stitches like so 
Um, let me turn it this way. Started the wrong way, Wally. Right, so there's my cross stitch. Uh, go tone on tone, go complete contrast. It is completely up to you. Um, you know, you do it to your colour palette. I'm just going to do some... Oh, come on, you worked perfectly earlier. I'm just going to do all sorts of colours so that um, I can just um, keep them in my stash and grab them when I need them. Um... <laughs> Why is it as soon as this camera goes on? Right, there we are. And down there. I've got this wool pressing mat. This, right, it's great, but it smells like a wet sheep. <laughs> and it's horrible. Well, it's not horrible. I don't mind the smell of wet sheep, but God. I kept thinking, what is that smell? And then I realised it's because I've been pressing on top of the, um, on top of that, and it um, it does smell like a wet sheep. So it's definitely wool. <laughs> That's something, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit, a um, little bit odd. But never mind. It's meant to be brilliant for you know when you're doing um, uh, b -b 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 patchwork and stuff like that because. Um, it supposedly presses from both sides. It's okay. I mean, it's fine. It's doing what I need it to do because I'm a bit naughty for pressing on top of my uh, green cutting mats. And um, I have buckled two because of that. Uh, they are not designed to have heat on them. Right, so I'm more or less joining up there. That'll be fine. That's enough for around there. So I'm just going to take it down. Down here i'm just going to come out about there might just do a very simple running stitch around there i'm making this look harder than it actually is but it's um it really isn't hard but i like the stitch i, I i'm gonna make up a load that's why i've got all these knitting needles out and um uh that will be you know i can sit and stitch that tonight whilst uh watching something on netflix i expect I don't know. Where did I start? I can't see the blooming. Oh, there. And then you can either, you know, do exactly the same at this end or you can just leave it as is, you know, just leave it raw if you want. Um, That one I left raw at the end and that's fine. It's staying together. That I stitched both ends. So, as I say, it's completely up to you. I might just leave that one. Actually, it's quite pretty as it is, isn't it? So um yeah so there we are and that's all you do um yeah that's it how should i finish that off i think i'll just go up here i can bury the thread in there then just bury that amongst there i mean it's not like you know it's not like they're going to be um well i can't imagine they're going to be roughly handled i don't know but that is actually quite a solid bead now so That'll be fine. Let's chop that off down there. Get rid of any scraggly bits. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I'll have to watch that end, actually. I can feel the wire. So what I might do is tuck that back inside somehow. In. Like that would be fine. Because once that's on something, you're not going to feel that. It's not coming out the other end. So there we are. So that's it. Like I say, you know, use fabric. If you've got tons of ribbon like I have, use that. Um, that is the very last bit now, I think. All I've got left is that. So I could do a silver one. Should we do a silver one? Shall I bore you? It's 24 minutes. Yeah, let's do another one. So once again, just to make sure I'm in screen this time. Right. Um, let's do it on that green one and see if I can do a, yeah, like I said, I want a cone shape more than, so I guess I would need to start winding down the bottom here. 
and keep that as tight as possible. And of course it wants to come up, doesn't it? Um, have I got anything else that's more cone shaped, I wonder? Yep. No. I've got some um, vintage um, uh, mending mushroom things and I was hoping, that's my nan's, bless her, uh, I was hoping that had a cone shape but it hasn't, so... Um, looking frantically around my craft room to see if there is anything, but there isn't. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I got all excited then. I bought this lovely new paintbrush. Um, I tried to treat myself to a big, um, you know, big water brush for big, you know, <laughs> Oh, yeah, anyway, so you can just do big pieces, oh, you know what I mean. Right, um, yeah, I was hoping that was more pointy on the end, but it isn't, so um, let's carry on. I wonder if a... Yeah, that's, that would be good, but it's not going to give me a very big hole. No, oh, I don't know, hang on. Thinking on screen, guys. Thinking on screen. Bear with me. It's a good job you can't see my face because, you know, the concentration tongue is out. Nah, that's enough. Okay. Um, perhaps what I'll do is I'll just stick with... Yeah, they're not very... Anyway, right, let's just do one. Faffing Susan. Okay. I'm hoping to get to charity shops tomorrow because apparently they're all open, but I've got one particular one that I love going to, but I don't know if it'll be open. I might give them a ring before I turn up actually. Um they have some lovely um quite vintagey stuff in there, so uh but I don't know if they're going to be open. This isn't going well. Okay, I'm going to leave that one for now. Um, what I need to do, I want to try and find something that is more cone shaped, um, you know, to start me off. But I'm, I'm, so I'm frantically looking around my room and I can't find anything at the moment. I'm going to try. I was thinking of paintbrushes. I wonder if I have got anything that's got more of a cone shaped end around hmm yeah okay I haven't got many brushes have I what are we like that might work old toothbrush I use it for splattering paint is it old? No, it's actually that old. I think it was too um, soft for me. That's why it's ended up in the box. Let's have a go. Last try. Otherwise, I'll let you go. That's the right shape, but it's just getting this to conform. I guess what I could do is just wrap it round as normal. Ah, oh, come on, brain. Yes. Right, wrap it round as normal, and then when I stitch it, I'll pull in the end. I'll do a, a running stitch round the end. Ding! Light bulb! Okay. I'll probably do for that, actually. Of course, it's all falling apart now, isn't it? Okay. Let's grab me clamper. Um, what colour to do? Because it's silver, we could more or less do anything. Got this nice, weird, and wonderful wool. 
try a bit of that. Let's clamp you. I just want to see if this works actually. Great if it does. Right. So, what colour? I've got anything variegated with yellow. Oh, yes, I have. Ta da! Okay. Let's give that a go. This could be a complete disaster, but we shall try. We don't know until we try. Um, okay, we've got a, a white end. Oh, oh, here we go. So plans for tomorrow. Like I say, I'm going to ring my favorite charity shop and see if it's open if it's not i will um stay home and save money um but um uh, i was gonna say yeah i want to um print some fabric and do those um pen pencil makeup brush pouches whatever you want to call them um get some of those made i just like a bit of diversity in my shop because um you know not everybody needs bags and or journals and stuff so i'll just do a running stitch and then i'll pull it tight and see if i can get that cone shape to come in Oh, oh, that could work. Let's get it right to the end. Okay, no, don't come off. No, just stay for one more minute. Thank you. Right, let's just catch those. So you can always then go over back over and do um, blanket stitch if you want to so I've still got enough of a hole there that I, I would be able to because um, I've got this sort of giant needle with a giant eye on it uh, there so um, that would that is big enough to take um, sari silk through and then you just you know you obviously just use that to pull the um, pull it through the end of the bead Oh, yeah, it's all right. It's kind of pulled it in. Right, let's do the rest of it, and then I'll just quickly show you, and then I'll let you go. Let's see if it's um, going to hold its shape. Right, I'll just do those big lazy cross stitches. I quite like those. Again. So, here we go. Right, you back round there. And the idea of those is just to catch all the threads down, basically, or the, um, yeah, the middle bit, the wool. You can sew on sequins. Um, I mean, they'd be beautiful. Oh, I, I might do some, actually. Um, I've got all those sari silks, so... Um, the uh, pattern stuff so i might do some in that as well so it's just really just to have the stuff on hand so that when you've done something and you think oh you know it just needs that little bit of a finishing touch um you've got them there that you can just grab them out of your done pile and um put them on there's a simple thing like that can just make all the difference so let's get that around there a bit more I can smell his wet sheep here. That mat is stinking. It is the first time I've used it today, though, to be fair. So, 
Uh, where am I going there? Okay. Right, that's the big cross stitches through the middle. You might have to be chopped off. I don't even know where you've come from. Right. So, it's just a case of... I'm just going to quickly stitch around the top. Sorry, this is probably boring the pants off of you. But, um... Let's do blanket stitch again, I think. Any of you professional sewers out there, please don't mock my stitching because, um... See, that's not good. There we are. Um, yeah, I'm no um, embroiderer, I'm afraid. I try. And um, I am doing the Anne Brook book. Anne Brook book. Uh, Soul for the Soul book, I think it's some um, hashtag is on um, Instagram. So I have done page one, which is on Insta. And I've planned out page two. I just need to sit and stitch it all. So, but of course, these little things keep popping up and it's like, hmm, what do I sew next? The mushroom one. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. It's there on my sewing machine. I've, I've done some hand stitching, but I think, um, I think I'm, I'm going to attack it with the machine, I think, because uh, it's, as I say, I've got quite a lot of hand sewing going on at the moment. And the trouble is, the more I have, the more I just think, oh, you know, can I? What should I do next? What should I do first? You know, it's because I've got a hexagon patchwork quilt on the go as well, which is one that I use to, I just add to it every now and again. But, I mean, that's all downstairs as well. So, yeah, it gets a little bit bonkers. So I'm going to do the mushrooms, which is here. I'll give you a quick reminder. That one. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that on the machine, I think, because um, I think it'll be quite nice for emotion embroidered, actually, so we shall get to that. Right. Let's see if we manage to get a conical bead. I'm just going to bury that down there. It's either conical or comical, one of the two. <sighs> yeah. It might be better using fabric on it actually, as opposed to this ribbon, because it is quite a stiff ribbon, this silver, and it's kind of making a bit of a, a flowery end, but oh, that's okay. But yeah, it's not very conical. I need to look for something that is more cone-shaped and then um, uh, try again, I think. Because I do quite like that shape because I, like, um, I like this thing. I like that shape. Obviously, that's metal. Um, but I, well, I, could, I suppose I could wrap something around and keep that inside. But they're too pretty. I don't want to... No, I don't want to bury them. So I'm going to look for something a bit more cone-shaped. Um, but yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I can use that, not a problem. So yeah, I don't know. I'll say it's probably nothing new, but there it is. Right, I'm going to stop boring you to death now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, if I do do some gel printing tomorrow, I might uh, switch on the camera and do some bits, or at least show you what I've got up to. And then, because uh, I know a few people really like watching that, so that's fine. I love watching it personally. I uh, I'm a bit of a stalker of um, gel, plate, gel plate printing. I found a lovely um, playlist. I think it was um, the gel press people had done a playlist, and that was great because um, if it was a bit boring or I'd seen it before or it was something I wasn't interested in, I just used to get on and do my hand stitching. So Anyway, there we are. Um, that's everything, yeah. I'll, say I'll, say I'll just go find that fabric. And those giant tags, I don't know where it is, so I'm going to have to play my own video back and see if I put it somewhere stupid when I was um, talking to you guys. But So, yes, so lots of stitching to do um, on the machine with this one. Quite looking forward to seeing how that turns out, actually. 
and uh, that one and then I was sorting out downstairs and I found a load of stuff that I haven't even started stitching yet um, and all these need again I was going to hand stitch but um, yeah I think I might get on and just whack them on the machine and get them done get them made into something so that's it guys have a good day I'll catch you again tomorrow um because it's only two days working this week hurrah so um I've got an extra day so I can sit and play and um take you with me all right thanks a lot bye